Hello, in this video I'm going to explain how to use the registration platform in order to attend CBMS. So first of all, I'm going to switch the language to English. So once this is done, you have three options. Well, in fact, two options because the registration one cannot be unselected. So you have the additional papers and the hotels. Uh, the hotels is in the case that you want to uh, book your hotel using the registration platform. Uh, I'm going to uncheck it in this case to to go faster and the additional papers that basically uh, it's related with uh, the fact that if you are going to present more than one paper at the conference you have to select this option one paper and one poster two posters two papers three papers any combinations that uh, implies more than one uh, element should be selected so once we are ready we click on next and here we have all the information depending on the type of uh, subscription. So if you are an EEEE member, you can select EEEE members. If you are a student, you can select a student. In the case of students, you need to provide some information, okay, uh, some document to, to verify that you are a student. Uh, in the case that you are going to attend the doctoral consortium, you have your own option here to, to pay the fee uh, according to a uh, doctoral consortium. So uh, these prices are right now available until uh, 18 of April. From 18 of April until May, uh, 9 of May, uh, the late registration fees will apply. So this change will, uh, these prices will change. Okay. So I'm going to assume that it's a, a non triple E member. Okay. So I click on next. In the second screen, uh, it's going to ask me basically the number of papers, of additional papers that I'm going to present. Uh, all it is clear specified in the text, but basically the idea is that if you have only two papers, the first paper is covered by these 500 euros, okay, and the second one is covered by this second paper uh, option, okay, so it's another 220 euros. Uh, in the case that you're going to present three or more papers, uh, by the way, when I'm talking about papers, again, I prefer papers or posters, okay? It doesn't matter because in the case of paper and in the case of posters, the price is the same. The thing is that if you are going to present three or more, you need to add these consecutive papers here in this section, okay? So, for example, imagine that you are going to present three papers, this should be the correct option. If you're going to present four papers, this is the correct option, okay? five papers and if you are going to present only two this is the correct option let's assume that we are going to present four okay so one it's up at the price of 220 one is, uh, the other two are at the price of 170 and the first one that it is included in the main registration the main registration also applies to people that is not going to present any paper so if you are going to attend the conference only attend the conference here you can skip this option and uh, you will pay only the, the basic registration fee. So let's go to next. And in this case, it asks you for the IDs of the papers uh, that were accepted. You have to provide the EasyChat IDs. So let's put, for example, one, two, three, four. Uh, and your uh, IEEE member, um, membership number. Please be sure that you introduce the correct uh, information because this EEEE information will be checked after the payment, okay, manually by, by the group of Pacific people. So uh, if we detect some incoherence, uh, we will let you know and uh, you need to be sure that uh, you have the, the, appropriate, um, the appropriate information provided, okay. Um, in the case that you are going to attend the conference dinner, you select yes here. And if you have any dietary restriction, you have to introduce it here. Okay, for example, be diet. Okay, we validate the answers and we go to the uh, last part of the information about you. So in this case is the title, your gender, your name. Let's put some information. Okay, it's Anis, my surname, my ID number. In this case, the DNA, I will introduce uh, one take uh, value, okay, my, the date of birth, okay, let's assume that it's uh, this, okay, so address, calle, my street, okay, number two, my tweet, okay, this is just 
um, see information so Spain phone number for example six five six eight 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 nine 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 okay and the email just alejandro at my email dot com okay here you can introduce information about uh, your company invoice data if you require an invoice for your company or your personal invoice in, in the case that you need this kind of invoice you need to select these two options and click on validate so at the end you have all the information about your registration so you have basically one full registration that is an amount of 500 euros because it's an e trapper e non member and then you selected two uh, two options in terms of additional papers one is for the second paper that has a price of 220 and two consecutive papers with a um, um, paper per uh, sorry with a price per paper of 170 that in total is 340 so the total amount to pay in this case is uh, 1000 uh, 1060 euros okay for the four papers and it will allow you to attend the conference uh, with all the all the um, all the services please take into account that uh, it is necessary to perform a full registration per attendant the discounts are only offered for those attendants that are going to present more than one paper and the additional fees that are applied are used to cover the costs associated to the production of the proceedings and the e triple e cost. So uh, if you want to attend or if another person wants to attend, uh, it, it is necessary to do a full registration because the full registration is in charge of covering all the conference costs. That means the coffees at the coffee breaks, the luncheons, the gala dinner, the welcome kit, and any other service that will be provided at the conference. So different attendance means that different registrations, full registrations are needed based, of course, on the specific situation of being member of AEEE or not. So after this, you can click on next and you will go to this part where you can do the transfer, bank transfer or pay with a credit card okay uh, you can select here and go and proceed with the payment and, and, and finish okay in this case I'm not going to, to proceed more from here because it's the, the end uh, just let you know that if you have any inquiry uh, or any questions please send an email to this email address okay here at the bottom please also include in CC contact at CBMS 2019.org because this is the main conference email so please remember to send the email to both email addresses okay and um, that's all i hope that everything is clear and please if you have any other questions in the future about the registration please let us know thank you